Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we will explore how to perform pairwise sequence alignment using Python and BioPython, one of the most popular libraries for bioinformatics. So let's dive into the code and see how it works. First, we will import the necessary modules from BioPython. So to install BioPython, we will install it like this pip install bio python i have this library already installed on my computer so i can use it directly here from bio import pair wise 2 the pair wise 2 module provides tool for sequences aligned imported then from bio dot pairwise two we want to import format alignment. Now this is a module that we want to import from another module. We want to import another module from a module. Whenever we want to import a module from another module, we first write the name of the library dot name of the module import keyword and the name of another module we want to import here format alignment is basically used to display the results in a clear and readable format then we will define a function to perform pairwise alignment between our sequences this function takes three types of input. First of all, sequence 1, sequence 2, and alignment type. Here we are defining that by default the alignment type will be equal to global. So if user does not provide any type of alignment, by default it will perform the global alignment between these two event sequences. If alignment type is equal to equal to global, then we will use pairwise two dot align dot global xx and we will provide our sequence one and sequence two. Now here basically this global xx take only uh, the value of match and mismatch. For match it choose plus one and for mismatch it chooses zero. Here it does not penalize gaps for it. Okay, so it only use the value for match and mismatch. So this line will perform all type of alignments between our sequences, sequence one and sequence two and then we will store these results in a variable alignments. But if user provide the type of alignment is local, then we will change only here the type of local and we will change the function from local to global. And else if user does not provide any type of alignment, then we will raise a value error and will print invalid alignment type now to display the alignment results we use a for loop to iterate through the alignments each alignment is a tuple and we will use the format underscore alignment function to unpack and display it in a clear format. So let's do it for i in alignments print format underscore alignment static i. Here we are using a for loop. We use a variable to iterate through this tuple 
in which we are storing the results of our, of our alignments and then we will use this format underscore alignment module to display our results in a clear and readable format. And here we will return nothing from our function. Let's provide two DNA sequences. DNA sequence 1 can be A, T, T, G, C, G, T, A and DNA sequence 2 can be A, T, G, C, G, C, T, C, A, A. Now here you can provide a sequence of any length either it can be of 100 to 200 or more than that. I am only giving you just a small example to explain that how this uh, works. Then we will call this function. So first of all, we will write the name of the function. That is pairwise alignment. And we will provide the name of our sequences that is DNA C1. DNA underscore seek two and the type of alignment we can perform is local. Let's run this code and here this code is providing us now how here this code is providing us different type of types of alignment that can be that can occur between our two given sequences by local alignment. Now let's first run this code without providing any type of alignment. So by default it will perform global alignment between our sequences. So the results now when we we'll run this code, the output will show us all possible global alignments for our given sequences along with their alignment scores. It will provide alignment scores with the number of matches between these two sequences is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These blanks, small blanks, small dashes show gaps. And these are basically different alignments that can occur between our two DNA sequences. So let's discuss about that what is the difference between local alignment and global alignment. So basically global alignment is end-to-end -end alignment and this type of alignment is basically used for those sequences that are, whose length is same. And secondly they are closely related to each other. But global alignment is basically used to find the best matches uh, between both sequences and it is normally used for those sequences that are distantly related to each other. That's it for this tutorial. You know now how to use BioPython to perform pairwise sequence alignment either locally or globally. This is a powerful tool for comparing DNA, RNA and protein sequences in bioinformatics research. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding tutorials. See you next time.